helped the squirrel, he had taken him very far. Perhaps he could find help in this village. The village was deserted. Could Ardmar be the last Viking in all of the land? If he failed, would he be destined to walk alone until the end of his days? Ardmar had heard stories as a child of the beast of legend that lurked below the water. But unless disturbed, that is where it would stay. The trap. It was real. Perhaps the chief's wish would come true.
Otmar's senses had sharpened throughout his journey. He could feel someone was watching him. I know you're there, goblin, said Otmar firmly. I am not a goblin, Otmar, said the creature and sighed. I may look like this now, but there was a time when you and I were not that different. It couldn't be, could it? Not only had this creature been helping him all along, but this creature was, in fact, his oldest friend. Vaskar? The creature protested, but it was no use. Adma had many questions for his oldest friends and many stories he wished to relive. Of the time they chased chickens, thinking they were small dragons. <laughs> or pretended to be the chief so they could steal desserts. Oh, to have found friendship again. So many years after being alone. With a sense of shame, Vaskar looked down and said, I'm not Vaskar anymore. I've not been since I was cast out. Now I'm even less. I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want you to see me like this. Stop it, Ardmar interrupted. You should have told me. It's okay, I know what's happened to you. But this time, you're not alone. Together, we can save the forest and save our people. The two friends were reunited. And although their quest was far from over, their spirits were high. Could it be that all was not as bleak as it once appeared?